the nervous system of the human oversoul. We are individual units operating under social rules that are pushing us ever closer toward dissolving our societies, societies, human groups run by rules, into telepathic collectivities of some sort. I mean, the chaos of the internet is chaos only to the constipated order freaks of the Habesian sociological machine. It makes them uncomfortable because they can't find the head, they can't find the hierarchy. But it's head and hierarchy that have distorted and made human institutions uh, so, so abrasive and uncomfortable for the people who inhabit them. So I, I, I really believe uh, there is no contradiction between technology and the spirit. There is no contradiction between uh, the search for intellectual integration and understanding and the psychedelic experience. There is no contradiction between ultra-advanced hyperspatial cyber culture and paleolithic archaic culture. Uh, we have come to the end of our sojourn in matter. We have come to the end of our separateness. Uh, this is all very scary. None of us know what it means, but the forces that have been called into being are now uh, beyond the control of any institution or any strategic planning committee or any banking uh, committee. These things have a life of their own. Uh, there is a morphological unfoldment occurring on this planet. It is bringing forth some entirely new order of being. We are a privileged part of this. Individually, our hope is to understand and participate in the epiphany. Uh, it is, there is no blame. Nothing is off kilter or wrong or unnatural or artificial. No principle has been betrayed. This is how it is supposed to be. But as it picks up speed, it's going to become more and more frightening as most metaphors fail. And this is why the rise of cults and why the grasping at ontological straws and why the whisperings uh, from various corners of the universe have grown to a roar because we are uncertain. We are not sure. But I think you become sure by connecting to the source. And then what you become for other people is uh, a source of reassurance. There is an, it, it, the perfect metaphor for understanding this situation is a birth. If you had never seen a birth and you were rushing about your daily business and suddenly came around a corner and this was happening, as, for example, could happen to you in India or in Africa somewhere, and here you confronted human birth, if you had not been prepared for that moment, uh, you would have a real emotional thing on your hands. It looks like a medical emergency. Blood is being shed, organs are being stretched, there's pleading and groaning and moaning. You have to have your chops very together to look at this situation and say, how wonderful, new life, coming into the world as it has always come into the world. Now, a birth can be simple and easy, or it can be prolonged and tormented. It can be an occasion for joy, or it can end uh, in catastrophe. The key is preparation, understanding, awareness. Uh, and uh, uh, a desire to meet the experience in all of its fullness. The birth is coming. The birth is coming. And what it does to the social systems we've put in place, the groaning ecologies that are taking the weight of our billions, what it does to the atmosphere, what it does to the economies upon which you and I depend, this all depends on how educated and enlightened each one of us can make ourselves 
as the thing moves toward completion. And it's no time for foolishness. And it's no time for rumor mongering. And it's no time for throwing away your epistemological razors and indulging in uh, the spreading of unlikelihoods. It's time to actually uh, pull together. The plants are the pipeline into the Gaian intention. It's just not a coincidence that these plants carry this immense spiritual message. They are the pipeline of Gaian intentionality. We were not out of balance for millions of years or hundreds of thousands of years of intellectual existence in which we had humor and song and ribaldry and uh, uh, poetry and horsing around and art and theater. We were not out of balance because our religion involved the dissolving of our cultural values once a week or once a month back into the, the mysterious mama matrix of a primordial being. Once we cut that off, once we began to make it up or to listen to the most shrill among us make it up, uh, we were lost. That's what we're returning to. Our story is the story of the prodigal son. We left the family farm, the balance, the domesticity, and we made a shaman's journey deep into the heart of matter and of energy, of space and time. We return with gifts, with understandings no shaman before ever had. Quantum physics, fractal mathematics, astrophysics, cosmology, the knowledge of DNA. This is real knowledge and we shed real blood to obtain it. Now it can be given meaning by being brought under the umbrella of authentic, archaic, human values informed by relationships with psychedelic plants. This is the comfortable future, the hopeful future that lies ahead. To the degree that people turn their back on this, uh, they are going to have uh, a, rough, a rough time explaining to themselves and their children just what exactly is happening at the end of the 20th century. Okay, that's my rap. Now I want to hear from you. <clears throat> Thank you. I mean, I really think, and let me say a couple of things. Uh, these things are much more fruitful in the question and answer period, at least for me. And then the other thing I want to say is about the psychedelic community of Chicago. Uh, you know, it's all fine and good to come to hear the great ones uh, pontificate, but the reality of the situation is this is your community. And we have self-selected ourselves to be here out of the millions who aren't and the thousands who came to this conference and who are also not here. So uh, look around. Uh, somebody in this room has what you're looking for. And uh, it, it, it probably isn't me. We used to stand out, but then our t sartorial choices triumphed everywhere. And now we look like everybody else. But I'd like to do questions now for the rest of the session. Yeah. Yeah, I, I stay away. I, I stay away from talking about my own mathematical theories because the word mathematics is guaranteed to clear a hall in most situations. Uh, but uh, I think it's, uh, I'm, it's perfectly, to, well, just to do this very briefly, two things are completely obvious to me that science has missed. And you're smart people. Check it out. Isn't this true? that the universe has gotten more complicated as we approach the present, that everything they ever told you on Discovery Channel or anywhere else supports the idea that the universe in the beginning was simple and then it got more complicated, right? So that's a truth that reaches notice across biology, geology, astrophysics. It, it's a cross-disciplinary uh, uh, 